Well, hey family, this is Darlene with Jewelry by BDK. I wanted to stop by real quick. I've been working on some men bracelets. And when I tell you, I have been challenged. I have definitely been challenged. Uh, the challenge for me is not leaning towards making the bracelet feminine. Um, I want to add charms. I want to add a lot of gold. I want to just make it look like um, a woman's bracelet. So that means like with color, with pretty and that type of stuff. So um, I think I, I think I did good with these. So these are men bracelets. And we're going to do now one of these. Let's kind of walk through them. Now this one, I use just the leather cord. So I use the leather cord, I use some hex nuts, and then um, I'm using a lot of wood beads. And the reason why I'm using a lot of wood beads is because wood beads take down my cost. Like if I'm selling at events and, and things, um, I kind of survey the market where I'll be selling every month. Um, just kind of got a feel for the market, uh, price point, that type of thing. So for me, I'm not going to take the more expensive beads that I pay a lot of money for. I'll, I'll take a couple of pieces, but it's not going to be a whole lot of those pieces, right? So, okay, I need to produce a product and I need to produce a product at a low cost, right? And plentiful. I need to make enough of it so that I can be able to have inventory for people, you know, to buy from. So what is the least expensive something that I can use, you know, to produce a lot of product. And for me, that's the wood beads, right? Because, you know, you can get a nice number of wood beads for a little bit of nothing in some cases if you really search, right? So if I go with the wood beads, I'm like, okay, because I can make the wood beads look just as pretty as a bracelet, necklace, or earrings, just like I can with any other bead, bone, gemstone, whatever it is that I'm using, I can do the same with with the wood beads and that's what i'm doing now so this one is a men's bracelet um i was just trying something and what happened is once i finished it off i just did the the knot on the end i didn't like it because it didn't look feminine i mean it didn't look masculine enough enough it looked feminine so i said okay i do want to make it nice and chunky like on the end so i did all my my tying and tying and tying and as it began to build up. I like it. So what I did is I used a little small bead on the end and I made it tight because leather stretches, right? So whoever buys this over time, let me see if I can get it back on. Over time, the leather, the leather will stretch. So it does take a little bit to put it on there, but you know, the more that they wear it, Let's see if I can get it on. There we go. So the more that they wear it, that leather will stretch a little bit. But if you can see, it's nice and secure. And I used a smaller bead because it only made sense to do a smaller hole. So I used the leather cord, some of these little metal beads, hex nuts, and then um, just kind of tied it all the way around. So we got that one. And then, of course, we did... Another one, we got these Sawick beads, Sawick nut beads. We got some glass beads, hex nut, wood beads. Um, and with this one, I use those little crowns that I got. So you can see one here, you can see one here. And then this is basically wood beads, a lot of wood beads. So that keeps my cost down. And then I can produce something pretty. Uh, this one... We use those blue beads, eight millimeter, a couple of hex nuts. Um, the hex nuts, I got, was it 100? I think I got 100 of these for $17. So 100 hex nuts. For $17. And I can get away with using a hex nut on 100 bracelets as the focal point and then just kind of um, decorate it all the way around the hex nut with beads and even like with the wire. So I had the wire, um, did a little spacer with that wire and then that's what you see for, for this bracelet. 
I think this one came out really nice. I really love the color of that. That's gorgeous. I really like this one. Um, so we have that. And also with a lot of black beads. These are those black 8 millimeter beads that I bought the other day. This case right here. My table is a mess too because I've been in here working. So excuse all this. Um, and then I took a little piece of uh, leather cord tied it there just to give it a nice little accent took the wire um created that little wire accent and then you got what you got um, and then so it went for this one and for men like when i look at men bracelets the beads are small i mean i see some that are like larger but for the most part they're small so with these um they can they can stack these so you can put a couple of these together, you can stack them and, and then keep it moving. Like these colors go really well together. So we got that. And then I got the turquoise and off white beads with the um, hex nuts. And these colors go really good together. I mean, that, that just really goes well together. And these are seven, seven, seven and a half up to eight and a half and nine is what I'm making these. The average wrist size for men, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine. And we did this one with that little wood bead. We got some Buddha heads, hex nuts, those black beads. And we also got this one, you see with the glass bead, hex nuts. So you can you can see the difference everything would make. So let's say if these were the black onyx beads, and you know those black onyx beads are a little bit more expensive, or if they were the hematite, or if they were any other gemstone, or you know bead bone a uh, bone beads or anything like that, you can see how much more they would be they would be more expensive. So therefore, I would have to charge a little bit more for them, you know, at the marketplace. I really like the way this came out and I am going to make some more of these. I really like the way this came out. So I'm going to be making more. I just ordered some more uh, wood beads and I think what I'm going to be doing, like I said, every month. Oh, and then I did this one with the Howlet. And this one does have some onyx, black uh, matte onyx beads those little bone beads. So I will have this one. I will have some, you know, a couple of nice expensive ones. And then we do have this one. And these are all wood beads. Uh, this bead right here is one that I got from Miss Rita, the hand painted bead. So we got that one. Um, I think what I did do, oh, and this one, I got this bead from Miss Rita too. So I'm going to use this one to create another, uh, men's bracelet so i'm going to use this and probably surround it with uh some gray beads some black beads and um maybe those off-white beads just to see how that comes out and then tie some a little piece of uh leather around it you know just to give it a really nice look but i have been challenged um and i think that we all are generally because we do make a lot of uh, you know, feminine bracelets, bracelets for women. And I've been getting a lot of requests too, like from men. Well, when are you going to make some men bracelets? Why are you leaving us out? I'm not leaving y'all out. It's just y'all a challenge. Y'all know how y'all do. Um, and then I know somebody I was talking to and they were saying that, because I got brothers and uncles and stuff and I asked them that too. Um, stretch bracelets, you know, because some of them do wear bracelets and they do wear stretch bracelets. They wear a lot of silver um, that's why I know too, like for men with my family members, they wear a lot of the silver. Um, and I noticed they wear a lot of the black, a lot of black, a lot of brown, silver. Um, a couple of them, they'll have like the latches, you know, that close off and stuff. But for the most part, hey, I just want to slide it on. I want to be able to do what I do whenever I do. I don't want to have to remember to take something off and do all that kind of stuff. So the easier, the better. So I'm like, well, that's really cool. But I, I do know that there are men that prefer to have like latches and, you know, 
clasp and all the other kind of stuff on there, but this is not, you know, the, the, the product that I'm, you know, that I'll be selling. Um, and anytime you start adding clasp and latches and all that kind of stuff, of course, the price has to go up and then that determines, you know, marketplace, you know, whatever marketplace that you're selling. And then for me, the idea is to, um, saturate the marketplace where I'm going to be with product that I believe is going to be priced at a sweet price. And that will produce me a really sweet profit like it did, you know, the last time that I was there. So that's the whole idea for me. Um, I also wanted to add this in real quick about Poshmark. So if you, if you guys are selling on Poshmark and you get people that are sellers, remember there are a lot of veteran sellers on there. So if, you know, you get requests from people like they'll bundle things and they'll bundle them and then they'll send you a message that says, hey, um, if you go through my closet and you select things that you like and you buy those things from me, I'll come back and buy this bundle from you, you know, real soon or later. Well, no, that's not how I operate. I'm not going to buy anything from you and you come back and buy something from me later. It's like buy from me and I'll buy from you. No, I didn't come here to buy. I came here to sell. That's what I came here to do. So they do have like a lot of little tricks and stuff that they do on there. And if you're not, you know, careful with it, um, you know, you get caught up in the shuffle. Um, and many of those closets have some beautiful clothing. They have some really beautiful pieces that might make you want to buy something. Just like when you're at a vending, uh, you're vending at an event. Um, my whole thing is I don't go walk around. I don't go buy anything because that's not my, that's not my objective to come and buy anything. That's not what I'm here for. Um, I spent what I wanted to spend for this particular event, and that would have been my vending cost. I didn't come, you know, to do any of that kind of stuff. Even like with food, I don't even buy food. I take my own food. I take my own water. Um, I do all those things because if you, you know, whatever you make, you're spending it, you know, right back to another vendor. And it's like, well, you're a smart vendor because you know, you making all the money and I'm not making nothing. I'm walking around spending whatever I make. So as a vendor, all you did was basically pay to go and spend money. But if you stay away from, you know, that practice, guess what? You'll leave home, you'll leave there, <laughs> you know, with a, you know, with hopefully some, some profit. But anyway, just wanted to add that. And these are some of the membraces that I'm working on. Um, I'm going to try to get a nice amount of these done because I have a whole lot of wood beads. So I'm going to do my base, my best. And then I'm figuring if I want to sell them in singles or if I want to sell them in sets, chances are I'll sell them in, um, I'll sell them in sets because it'll be like one bracelet for a price or two for a certain price. So I am going to, um, I've already pretty much figured out what I'm going to be selling them for. So when I finish everything, I'll backtrack and then, you know, do my little calculations, do my whole little thug fizzle. And then I'll figure out, you know, exactly what the price will be for these, but it will be a nice, reasonable price, you know, sweet for them and also sweet for me as it relates to a uh, profit. All right, family, you want to say thank you for all your comments. Thank you for su subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for hanging out with us here on the Drew by BDK um, YouTube channel. Um, hopefully you're learning some stuff on this channel and that's the whole objective is to, you know, to share um, a little bit of information, you know, something what I know that will hopefully help you out in the long run and at the moment. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. We don't know why you haven't as of yet. Go ahead and subscribe and then hit that all button. And that means that you will be notified each time I upload a new video. All righty, people. And we'll talk soon.